at my latest purchase, which is two blocks of flat, a purpose-built block built in the 1980s of 10 flats with these open first floor access ways. Quite an old fashioned design really. And we're gonna to have to do quite a lot of work uh, externally to make these look attractive and modern. The other block we're buying is the one over there, which is a, a, a conversion of a very nice looking house. Then that's in five large apartments. We hope to turn that into seven because they're very large indeed. So we're going to refurbish the 10 uh, to a decent standard and we're going to convert the five hopefully into seven. Um, it's going to be an interesting project. Uh, delighted that we bought it. It's the first thing we bought for a while. Uh, here it's here in Ipswich, which is always handy and nice and local. And um, we've got a lot of work to, to do. From here on in, we get a full schedule of works done. We then go out to tender to see who's going to do the work and then we start the process of development. Please make sure that you don't rush in to start a project before you are completely ready to do so, that you have all your funds in place and that you've got all the prices back from a number of builders. Don't just go to one, go to a number of builders, get a full schedule of works done so they're all quoting on the same basis. This is so important because one builder might quote on one basis, another on the other. So if you have it all written down it's exactly, and it doesn't matter whether it's one flat you're doing or, or three flats you're doing, write down the full schedule of what you want done. That way there's no argument at all because you can show it to the builder and say, this is what we said and this is what you haven't done. Also make sure you get a time scale out of the builder as to when it's going to be finished get them to commit to that even if it's on a very small scale still get them to commit by email as to when it's going to be finished and try and get them to stick to that and later on in this uh, series of uh, youtube videos i'm doing we will have a session at some point i'm sure on how to try and make sure your builder sticks to the project on time on budget and make sure it's a success for everyone, including them, because if they don't make enough money out of you, they won't do any more work for you. Or the next time you work with them, they'll try and have you over and, and uh, charge you far more at the end or something than you were expecting. So be fair to the builders and they should be fair to you. Now the 10 in this block here are two bedrooms. They're small two bedroom flats of about 580 square feet, which is small for two bedders but I'm gonna keep them two bedders because if I make them into bigger one bedrooms, they will still won't be worth as much as they would be as two. There's, you know, with, if two bedrooms, people can rent a very small room out, the second bedroom out for themselves, although it's very small. So there'll be the cheaper end, the very cheaper end of the two bedroomed flats in Ipswich for sale on long leases. I always do my leases 199 years, not 99 or 125. I've always done them at 199 years. And also these days, the brand rent needs to be 0.01% of the price of the flat. Uh, that's to, to make sure that the new rules that are coming out, I believe shortly, and a lot of building societies are already adhering to those rules that the ground rent should not be any more than 0.01%. So if it's a hundred thousand pounds flat, that means the ground rent shouldn't be more than a hundred pounds. With this building behind me in five flats at the moment, some of these are three bedrooms, they're very big. So as I said, the idea is to convert them into smaller flats and hopefully get seven out of them instead of five. And that should gain and add quite a lot of value to the project. Uh, so that's, we'll be applying for planning permission to do it, for doing that shortly. Thank you.